Welcome back to Putney. Thank you very much. It's good to be back. How was the trip to Antarctica? Oh, it was fantastic. It was, it was difficult, um, mm -hmm. challenging a lot of the time, but absolutely eye-opening, um, yes. particularly South Georgia. It was just mind-blowing to know that places still like that exist. South Georgia is a, is a beautiful example of where uh, all of us, sort of international community, have come together to protect it. Yes. Um, and it really shows how, if we do act, how we can actually preserve these places. And not even that, this was a habitat destroyed by whalers and fur sealers, mm. and now is home to 95% of the world's fur seals. Right. You know, we still have time to do things with that. I've never really felt quite like I did on the first beach, um, Gold Harbour in, in South Georgia. Mm. You know, this, this pure density of wildlife in wow. somewhere which shouldn't, shouldn't feel like it should, should um, yeah. be able to host it. Mm. Um, and it was quite a strong feeling of how the world could be right. if we looked after it. Um, mm. And yeah, it was, it was having had a good two weeks or so of, of feeling pretty desolate. Yeah. It was this real shard of hope. Um, and mm. yeah, and I hope that we can kind of share a little bit of that with the, with the mm. documentary. Um, so how are you going to get the message of the documentary out there? And are, are we able to make a change, Harry Skakes? Oh, for sure we can make a change. It's <laughs> definitely not too late. And, 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 you know, until I went to South Georgia, I was really beginning to feel it was too late. Right. Um, I've come back from several trips recently where you are just hit in the face by global warming right. um, or climate change, you should say. But, you know, I came back from, from um, Churchill, there should be three miles of sea ice and there was none. And, you know, the polar bears rely on this to hunt. Um, yeah. and, and every trip I was seeing this and seeing this. And I just felt that this is, you know, we should be all up at night thinking about it. And I certainly am. But mm. then seeing South Georgia, somewhere where we really have put time and resource um, and effort into protecting it and showing how it can still flourish mm -hmm. means that yes we can we can change things and it's not too late um, it just requires us all to be on the same playing field absolutely obviously we've taken your prints to our office directly um, this is understand long live the king long live the king exactly right yes the, the message of what what that elephant represents is nice to have in a business because because um, it's poignant and uh, what you're doing is is of great value because you're capturing images which can be shared and people can talk about it. Clients come in and, and, and start to talk and it, it creates a conversation. It mm. creates an opportunity to remind people that, you know, life is quick and busy, but actually there are some more important things to think about. You know, I think the space that you've created here is, is, is beautiful. And this is exactly how I would like my work to be used. Um, oh, you know, thank it's you. hugely flattering to me. Mm. Um, you know, a lot of my work is, is it's about finding tranquility with wildlife. I think it's very easy to show big, scary animals looking aggressive, but I want the opposite. And, and you know, even, even with an image like Tooth and Nail behind you, where there's a lot yes. of teeth, it's a very calm photograph. You know, it's yawning right. um, and it's at ease. Um, and that has created a very nice, calm atmosphere, which I think mm. is a nice one for clients. Absolutely. Yeah, no, absolutely beautiful. And uh, thank you for saying that. It's... Uh, I wondered what it was in your pictures that, that kind of grabbed me. And actually, you're right. There's, there's, you would be right. But, it, but <laughs> it, it, it's more of a... It doesn't have to be the animal as a thing. It's more part of its environment. Exactly. And it representative exactly. of it. More and more often, which I'm thrilled about, we get people coming into the gallery being like, well, what's the story behind the print? How was this taken? Um, you know, is it wild? Um, and that's super important to me because... Everything you see in my work is, is wild and free. Yes. Um, and the reason these images feel calm is that we haven't chased them, we haven't baited them. There's, they're not on alert because we would let them approach us. Yeah. And that's why I think you don't have to be a wildlife body language expert. Yeah. I think we feel all these things quite inherently. You know when your dog is upset, you know when someone else's dog is upset because it's yes. in our DNA to know that. Yeah. Um, you know that this is not an aggressive image. Um, it's not head up, it's not ears out. Uh, is emphasising its size. This is quite the opposite. Um, mm. And it matters to me that people care about that. And if everybody could take that attitude, that all you're trying to do is, is make a little bit more of a difference, yeah. that would be enough. And everyone to kind of take an accountability for, this is me, this is what I do, and this is how I'm going to change. I don't need to change the entire country. Yes. I just need to do better. We want to explore the issues, but at the same time, give people ways to, to actually do something about it. And it doesn't yeah. have to be big. Well, that's, that's one of the reasons that we wanted to sponsor you, really, is because you're 
providing a way of involving more people in something that can be simple, but it's fundamentally a call to action. So by promoting that work in any way that we can, we're backing something greater than what you're doing, what I'm doing, which is actually change. Change, um, yeah, absolutely. And we want to need it. Um, and I think you're right. A lot of people think, but I can't change the world. I can't yeah. do it. But they can make some incremental change. Exactly. Yeah, we're, we're super excited to have you guys on board. Thank and I think, I think it's, it's been really nice to have a sponsor like yourself. Mm. People know that we'll have Nick on. Uh, yes. you know, other sponsors. People are quite interested to know about why why you guys are involved, and I yeah. think this is perfect in showing that. Um, and I think when other companies hear about the approach that you take, mm -hmm. you know, I think that's also a call to action to them as well. Really looking forward to being part of the uh, the journey as Absolutely. you go forward. From all of us, we do as well. So it's a real privilege. Thank you.